This is a Talk of the Town Extra. I'm Tawanda Coleman. Over the past couple of years, the number of fatalities from trucking accidents has increased. To help combat this tragic accidents, the legislature is proposing all trucks have a speed limit in place. If this occurs, it is estimated it could save 63 to 214 lives annually. Jim Higgins is here to tell us more. Welcome, Jim. Thank you. So tell us about this proposed new law and the debate surrounding it. Sure. So what they're talking about doing is putting a basically a governor or speed limiter on semi trucks so they can't exceed they're not really sure it might be 65 might be 68 miles per hour but that so they can't roll down the highway at 100 miles an hour and you know the trucking most of the trucking industry is behind it yeah. of course all the safety uh, people and organizations are behind it because it, it j it's just physics if you slow down a big truck and there's an accident it's less force it's less impact you, you hope that those people are, are gonna survive so it's going through right now and it'll probably pass one the couple of things that are are I guess controversial all over it it's only going to apply to to new trucks and some people want it to go back retroactively and there there are some independent drivers who say we don't want it because sometimes we need to speed up to avoid an accident or so there's not road rage but I think overall it's probably going to happen and it will slow these trucks down. Jim, does your office handle trucking cases different than other accidents? Oh, oh yes, yes. I, I, I tell you, I think that's one mistake a lot of lawyers make that don't have a team like we have that does trucking accidents. It's not simply that an accident occurred and whose fault it is. You want to get into the truck records. You want to find out if they were violating the laws. You, you have to handle a whole entirely different way from a regular car accident. Good information. Thank you so much for being here, Jim. Thank you. For more information about The Higgins Firm, visit their website at thehigginsfirm.com.